Let's practice finding the area of triangles together. All right, let's jump right into number one. So let's go ahead and use either of those formulas. So first we're gonna go see if we can identify the base. Now the base is going to be this measurement going across over here. So that looks like it's gonna be 15 centimeters. So let's go ahead and put that in. Now, what about the height of this triangle? Well, the height has to be perpendicular to the base, which is 90 degrees to it. So here is the height and you can see that it is 90 degrees to the base. So that's going to be four centimeters. So we have the base and the height. Let's go and see if we can calculate the area. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter which formula you choose to use. I uh, pick one of those. Uh, for this first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, base times height divided by two. And I'll try to switch on and off into the different forms just in case it's helpful. We don't know the area, so let's keep it as capital A equals. Now the base is going to be 15 centimeters. Let's go ahead and write 15 centimeters and make that substitution and multiply it by four centimeters, which is the height, so four CM. Put using parentheses just to show the multiplication, stay organized, and then divide by two. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and multiply 15 times four, then divide by two, but I like cross canceling if I can. So the four and two, we can make a one and a two. And if we do that, then we don't have to divide later because we just divided now, okay? So we go ahead and multiply here, 15 times two, that's gonna be 30. And we're not gonna have a denominator, which is nice, but then centimeters times centimeters is going to be centimeters squared. All right, so the area of this triangle is going to be 30 square centimeters or 30 centimeters squared. Here's number two. For this triangle, we are going to start off by seeing if we have the base. So the base is actually up here this time, depending on how you're looking at the triangle, but we're just gonna flip it upside down. So the base is going to be 17 inches. Now, what about the height? This is gonna be perpendicular to it. So the height here is going to be seven inches. You can see this right angle box, it's 90 degrees. So that's going to be seven inches. We don't know the area here, so let's go ahead and use the base and height to find it. This time I'm gonna use the other formula. I'm gonna say area is equal to one half multiplied by the base times the height. We're gonna solve for the area. So area equals one half multiplied by the base, which is 17 inches. Let's multiply that by the height, which is going to be seven inches. Now we're gonna to have to go ahead and multiply this one half and 17 and seven together. Now, none of these are even numbers, so it doesn't cross cancel nicely with that one half, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just take half of 17 or half times 17, and that's gonna be 8.5. So that's going to be, let's see, 8.5 inches. And then we're gonna take that and multiply it by the seven inches. Okay, so we're gonna to have to multiply some decimals here. So let's go ahead and do that on the side. So multiplying this 8.5 by seven, we're gonna get 59 and a half or 59.5 if you wanna use a decimal. And then if you multiply this inches and inches together, that's gonna to get us inches squared or squared inches. So that's gonna be the area of this triangle. Here's number three. For number three, let's see, we have the base. The base is going to be six centimeters across the bottom. So let's go ahead and write that in, six cm. And what about the height? For the height, that's gotta be perpendicular to it. So that's gonna be this measurement going from the top to the bottom. And we know it is the height because it's 90 degrees here. So that's gonna be 9.7 centimeters. And we don't know the area, so let's go ahead and solve it. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go back and use that formula of area equals base times height divided by two. Okay, and let's make some substitution. So area is equal to the base, which is going to be six centimeters. Let's multiply that by the height of 9.7 centimeters. And then let's go ahead and take that whole thing and divide it by two. Okay, so you can multiply and then divide by two later, but to avoid that long division and divide by two, let's go ahead and cross cancel. The two and the six work very nicely, becoming one and three. So if we do that little uh, bit along the way, then we don't have to do division later. So let's go ahead and now just multiply this three by this 9.7. All right, so multiplying 9.7 and three, we're gonna get 29.1. And so I'm gonna say the area is equal to 29 and 1 tenth, and then centimeters times centimeters, that is gonna get us our centimeters squared. So the area of this triangle is gonna be 29.1 square centimeters. Here's number four. For number four, let's see, do we know the base? Well, the base over here looks like it's on the bottom. This is gonna be 14.9 inches. So let's go ahead and put 14.9 
and that's I N for inches. And then what about the height? For the height, looks like that's going to be 7.5 inches. It makes that right angle 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and say the height is going to be 7.5 inches. And let's use those two measurements to calculate the area. Okay, so this time I'm going to use that formula of area is equal to one half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height. And then let's go ahead and make some substitution. So we're going to have one half multiplied by the base, which is 14.9 inches. And let's multiply that by the height of 7.5 inches. All right, so again, we're gonna have some messy decimals here. I'm gonna take this one half and think about it as 0.5. So on the side, just remember that one half is equal to 0.5. And I'm gonna start by just multiplying this 0.5 by this 14.9, uh, I'm gonna do that on the side. Multiplying half times 14.9, that's gonna equal this 7.45. So we have 7.45 inches. Let's go ahead and take that and now let's multiply that by 7.5 inches. Multiplying that 7.45 by 7.5, uh, we are going to be getting here 55.875 inches squared. So the area of this triangle is going to be 55. Technically, this is 7 eighths as a fraction, if you recognize that decimal. So 55.875 or 55 and 7 eighths inches squared. Here's number five. All right, for number five, it looks like things are gonna be a little bit different now. For the base here, that's gonna be this measurement over here. We actually don't know what that is, so it's switching up a little bit. We need to change how we approach this problem. Um, as for the height, the height is going to be this measurement going from the top to the bottom here. And it looks like it's gonna be eight meters. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an eight and put an M for meters. And now this time we do know the area. The area is gonna be this 44.8 square meters. So 44.8 meters squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick one of those formulas to use. I think in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and use area is equal to base times height divided by two. If you have even numbers, I think it's a good one to use in general because you can cross cancel that two right away. And now making some substitutions, we actually know the area this time. So capital A is gonna be this 44.8 meters squared, and that's gonna be equal to the base, which we don't know, that's B. I'm gonna multiply by the height of eight, so times eight meters. And this is going to be over two. Okay, so let's see. On the right side, it looks like we can simplify a little bit here. So we can cross cancel this two and eight to make it a one and a four right away. So simplifying this a bit, we can go ahead and say that this 44.8 meters squared on the left side is equal to four meters on the right side multiplied by whatever the base is. Now to solve for the base, let's go ahead and use one of our POEs or properties of equalities. And let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4m. If we divide both sides by 4m, notice that this uh, four and four are gonna cross cancel and go bye-bye on the right side and the meters and meters also cancel out. So we're gonna be left with just one B on the right side or B. And then we also have to go ahead on the left side and then divide this 44.8 divided by four. So let's go ahead and do that on the side. All right, so it looks like that is going to be 11.2. That's what you get when you do that division. And then for the meters squared divided by meters, well, the meters on bottom is gonna cancel out with one of the meters multiplied on top. So we just have meters for our unit here, okay? So if you go back up here, we know now that the base is going to be 11.2 meters. Here's number six. So starting with the base, let's see if we have one. Looks like over here, this would be the base going all the way across. That's gonna be 8.4 centimeters. Let's go ahead and label that 8.4 cm. And for the height, looks like the height here is going to be this measurement coming straight up and down. Again, it has to be perpendicular or see this box and that's 90 degrees. So that's going to be 4.6 centimeters. And we don't know the area, so let's go ahead and solve for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this formula of area is equal to 
base times height and then divide that by two. Again, I think this one will be nice because we have a lot of even numbers here. Okay, so now substituting in, I'm gonna go ahead and write the base is going to be 8.4 centimeters. And we're gonna multiply that by the 4.6 centimeters. And this is gonna be all on top of two. Okay, so we could multiply these top two numbers over here and then divide by two later. So we're gonna to have to multiply decimals, then divide decimals, or we can cross cancel a bit here. Uh, I'm gonna go with cross canceling. It like, looks like we have some nice even numbers. So this two and 4.6, half of 4.6 is 2.3. So if you cross cancel now, then you don't have to divide later, which is kind of nice. And so all we really have to do now to find the area is multiply 8.4 and 2.3 together. So let's go ahead and do that on the side. Looks like multiplying them together, we get 19.32. So I'm gonna write area equals 19.32. And then multiplying the centimeters by centimeters together, the area should be two dimensional. So we have centimeters squared. So that's gonna be the area. Here's number seven. For number seven, let's check out the base. Looks like our base is gonna be something we know, this 9.7 all the way across the bottom. So we have 9.7, it's gonna be in inches. And then what about the height? Well, looks like we don't know that. That's this measurement over here that's missing. So let's go ahead and pause for a moment. But we do know the area. The area is 35.89 square inches. So let's go ahead and put that in for the information we do know. 35.89 square inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a formula here. I'm gonna use area is equal to one half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height. I'm gonna use this one this time. And so the area is going to be 35.89, make that substitution, inches squared is equal to, and I'm gonna just change this one half to 0 0.5. I'm gonna take that and multiply it by the base. The base is 9.7 inches. And let's go ahead and multiply that by the height, which we don't know. Feel free to not put that H in parentheses. I'm just doing it to be consistent here. Um, on the right side, looks like we can multiply these two decimals together. That's half of 9.7. So if you can do that in your head, great. But I'm gonna go ahead and just show that multiplication out. So multiplying half and that 9.7 together, we're gonna get 4.85. So we can write 35.89 inches squared is gonna be equal to this 4.85 inches multiplied by the height. Now to get the height to be by itself, let's go ahead and use the division property of equality and divide both sides by 4.85 inches. So they're gonna cancel out on the right side. I'll do that in just a moment. But if we do it on the right side, we should do it on the left side to be fair, to keep the equation balanced. And so when we do that, this 4.85 goes bye-bye with this 4.85 becomes ones and the inches will also cancel out as well. So on the right side, we're just gonna have one H or just the height. And on the left side, we have some division to do. So let's go ahead and take this decimal and divide by this one. All right, so it looks like when we divide 35.89 by 4.85, we are gonna get 7.4. So let's go ahead and write that down here. And if we divide the inches squared by inches, then one of the inches cancels out on top and bottom. And we're left with one dimension, which is just gonna be inches. So the height of this triangle would be 7.4 inches. Here's one final problem. For number eight, let's see what's going on here. Uh, for the base, I think we actually know it. It's gonna be this number going all the way across or this dimension, so that's gonna be nine meters. Let's go ahead and write that for the information we know. Now for the height, I don't know what that is, so unfortunately that's what we're gonna to have to solve for, but that's gonna be our unknown. And then for our area, that's gonna be this uh, two-dimensional measurement of 23.4. So that's gonna be 23.4 square meters or meters squared. Okay, so which formula should I use here? Really up to you. I'm gonna use the one where we have a fraction. So area is going to be equal to base times height divided by two. The reason why I'm choosing to do this is because taking half of nine isn't too bad. 
the area substituting in is going to be 23.4 meters squared or squared meters and that's equal to the base which we know is going to be 9 meters I'm going to put that in parentheses and we're going to multiply that by the height so I'm going to say times h and I'm going to put this over 2. So before we use any POEs, we should look at one side and see if we can simplify a bit. I see on the right side this 2 and 9, we can cross cancel to make 1 and 4.5 or 4 and a half. So I know we typically don't cross cancel with decimals, but we can, right? And so if we rewrite this to clean it up a little bit, 23.4 meters squared is going to be equal to 4.5 meters multiplied by whatever the height is. Okay, so times h. So let's go ahead and see. If we know 4.5 times something equals 23.4, we can go ahead and use that division property of equality, divide both sides by 4.5 meters, and we should be left with whatever h is. Let's divide both sides by 4.5 meters. Okay. On the right side, this 4.5 and 4.5 and and are going to cross cancel. They go bye bye, make ones, just like that. And we're going to be left with 1h or just h on the right side. On the left side, let's go ahead and solve this by taking this 23.4 and dividing by 4.5. I'll do that on the side. So dividing that 4.5 into that 23.4, that looks like it's going to be 5.2 or 5 and 2 tenths. And then this uh, meter squared divided by meters, one of the meters goes away on the bottom and one on top by cross canceling. So we have one dimension for our height, which makes sense. So our height here is going to be 5.2 meters. And there you have eight different practice problems where uh, sometimes we had the base and the height and we had to find the area. And sometimes we were given the area and either the base or the height and we had to use uh, one step equations to help solve these types of problems. So there you have some examples. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing with a classmate or a friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep up the great work that you're already doing and I'll see you in the next one.